Oh, hello there. I'm so glad you decided to come back. It, uh, it was getting a little lonely up here by myself. You know, it has been a while since you've seen me last, and uh, I have been doing a lot of work. If you come over here past this strange brick pillar, you'll notice I have my own murder hut. Yeah, uh, these, these undead type creatures just kept falling from the sky right here. So I decided to gather up a lot of this extra brick and just make a little place to catch them, and they seem to burn in the sunlight. And every once in a while, they'll they'll drop some really nasty, rotten flesh, which uh, I don't think I'm ever going to really touch. But I'm seeing if they ever drop anything else, just in case, because that would be pretty handy. If that were the case. Ugh. Ew, gross. Gross. Um, let's get rid of this. Rotten flesh. Ugh. Yeah, I, I have melons, so I'm going to eat that instead, I think. Um, what else have I done since you were here last? I've... I've noticed that sometimes creatures do spawn at night if I get far enough away from certain places. So I'm putting up doors on these pathways just to make it safer. Um, I have been widening some of the pathways to make that safer as well. Not all of them, but some of them. And one thing I do just because I'm neurotic is I'm putting the type of block in the middle of the little spawn pad. Um, so it makes it a little more obvious for me what's going on. I've also bridged out in a few different directions just to kind of get things started. Over there, I'm pretty close to getting the iron, which I think is what I want to do today. Over here, I'm getting pretty close to, what is that, the circle stone. We're getting some of those guys. I found this place and one other place where glowstone seems to appear. I've gotten some wool, so I was able to make a bed for myself, and there's more diamond here. Oh, oh, that was snow. Oh, there's more glowstone right there. So, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that bridging, and I have seen a few more types of blocks floating out in the air that I think I'm going to need for the monument, and I've seen those in other directions. Um, I haven't gotten too far towards them yet, though. But uh, that's about it. I've been collecting a lot. I have been, like I said, been thickening things up a little bit. And just kind of the the housekeeping stuff. So what, what do we have out there? Just some more wood out there. More diamond out there. And I think some more glowstone that way too. So here's what I've got right now. Um, Let's grab the bricks. And I've got a decent amount of stuff. So let's go over towards that iron. Now I'm a little worried about this because I have seen skeletons spawning in midair. Like reanimated skeletons and they seem to have a bow and arrow and oh okay that was a weird little poofy sound. So I'm a little worried about that. Stuff is having trouble loading in here for me. So I'm not sure if I need to be worried about these guys during the day or not. But I think I do want to have a bit of a backstop available. So my goal is going to be to get over there as safely as possible. Um, I think I might have a little extra wall on both sides. Because I am a little worried about what those creepy skeleton things are going to do. And just to be extra safe, I'm going to wait until some of them appear, and then I'm going to do my bridging. Because it seems like there's a little bit of a, a time lapse between when they show up. That worried me. Okay, I'm getting pretty close. In fact, I may be able to reach the, the main structure here. There we go. Okay. Okay, now what's the safest way to do this? I think I'm going to switch to this being my walkway, which seems a little weird, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh my goodness! Okay, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. Sadly, I don't have any type of equipment for making armor, so that could be an issue, but I definitely want a weapon at least. And I should make sure to have my food eaten up and whatnot. Because I want to be as fully prepared as possible. 
Now, it's my understanding that once I get this iron, I'm going to be able to start making better tools, and I'll be able to um, get some diamond and stuff like that, and then I should be able to make armor. So that will be exciting. I'll go ahead and make another sword, and I'll grab some of this glowstone. Oops, I need to look here. Boom. I'll go ahead and have both of those equipped, and I'll combine that, put that there. I don't really need that torch. Okay, I feel like I'm ready now. So let's go see if we can take this place on. Yeah, I'm ready. So those, those skeletons, they're creepy, man. I mean, they just come out of nowhere. What are you supposed to do about that? Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, what else? What, once I get this iron, I think I'm also able to make buckets as well. So I might want to get some of that iron and get, make a bucket and then I can start... Oh gosh, what was that sound? And then I can start collecting stuff like water and lava and whatnot. That could be very useful. Now is there something inside of here that's making those skeletons spawn? Does... Oh, oh, did I just waste a bunch of iron? I think it just fell down the void. Oh boy. Yeah, you, you just keep burning there, buddy. You just keep doing your thing. This is concerning being here. Oh! For reasons like that. Oh, I got some arrows. Can't complain about that. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, mercy me. Go away, go away, go away. Eat some food. Eat some food, Cthulhu. Man, these guys are just showing up so often. Okay. I have oh, okay, I think I think I have enough. I don't want to get too greedy and have bad things happen. So let's just be happy with what we have, make sure that returns home safely. And uh just yeah, just be happy with that. Don't want to get too greedy. Whoa. That was close. Oh, I want to mention that uh a buddy of mine, Tiny Bat111, mentioned to me previously that you know, if you want to have stuff collect automatically, why don't you just t toss a torch down where they're going to drop? Sadly, that doesn't create a, uh, a block that I can grab, it just disappears. So in some places I have done that for blocks that I don't care about, like there's pumpkins dropping over there, and I think there's some soul sand somewhere, so things like that that I don't really want to have accumulate, I can just get rid of that way. Iron block. Boom. Whoa! That was weird. Okay, well, that mm, that might be a good sign. Maybe I am doing something right. Interesting. Okay, so I can expand these out to different iron ingots. And now I can really start doing stuff. So it is getting dark. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? Put that away. I think I might as well start bridging out to another area definitely wouldn't hurt. I don't think I really want to do... Oh, what am I doing? I don't want to do anything with my iron just yet. And maybe maybe go off in this direction? Let's, let's sleep away the night real quick. Save some time. It's easier to get stuff done during the daylight. I don't have to worry about creatures showing up. And I think it's just a better idea overall. So I mentioned Tiny Bat 111 cool guy. He's the owner and participant of the server I'm a part of, and I would like to give him a public warm thank you, because out of nowhere the other day, literally out of nowhere, he gave me a game via Steam. And it's not any old game. It is The Call of Cthulhu. Dark Corners of the Earth, I believe, is the complete name. And I was very, very thankful, because that is a game that I have played in the past and have really enjoyed. It's, uh, it's a scary game, it's a, sh a shooter game, and it's a Lovecraftian game. So a lot of good stuff going for it, and I've really wanted to... Ooh. Is that lava going to give me an issue? I've really wanted to play it for the channel, and uh, 
Oh, crap. Okay, well, that's good to know about. Um, I'm not going to do it right away. Be oh, there's lots of lava here. I'm not going to play it for the channel right away because I don't think I would have time given other things that I'm currently doing. Oh, crap. Oh, crap-tastic. What? Oh, boy. Okay, I, I need to grab this and go. I don't like how this is going. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Give me that. Is there anything in the center of this by any chance? You never know. It does not appear so. Okay, I need to skedaddle ASAP. Hopefully without burning. Let's just do this. And let's leave. Let us leave. Whew, okay. That, that got a little warm. But if I want to, I can go collect that stuff and possibly do something with it. We'll see. Let's grab a little glowstone while I'm here. Thank you. And you know, I said I didn't want to do anything with my iron right away, but I think I do want to make an iron pickaxe and then I can start collecting some of this uh, diamond that keeps appearing all over the place. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Thank you very much, Tiny Bat, for that awesome game. I definitely will be playing it for the channel eventually. I think I want to finish up a few other projects beforehand, but uh, I really appreciate it. It's really nice of you, and I look forward to playing it. Um, okay, so I'm kind of worried to see what's going to happen here, but uh, let's, let's try this out. Oh, ugh. Ugh, it gives me the willies. Weird. Anyway, and I just realized we need a diamond block. Um, can I make the diamond block? Or do I have to go collect it somewhere? I wonder, I wonder if it matters. Anyway, let's, let's get some diamond, regardless. Um, I'm going to need some more sticks, and then I'm going to need some of this iron. And boop, boop. Oh, no, I can't do that yet. Come on now. And another thing that I'm thinking about, I've heard that if you have water and you have lava, you can make them interact in a way where they create obsidian, like this stuff. And I've also heard that you can put that obsidian in a certain configuration and then light it, and that will make a portal to another dimension. So that is something I'm curious about doing. I'm not sure if... Uh, if I'm allowed to do that, or if it would be beneficial for me to do that, but it's uh, it's curious. It's got me thinking. So I'll, I'll consider that, and then we'll see what happens. Ooh, ooh, I get experience for doing this too. Score! And... Whoa, hello, sir. Tall, dark man. That was a little creepy. Okay, so we've got diamonds. Very, very nice. So what do I want to do with the rest of my time here with you? Huh. Let's start by making another chest, because I am getting... Oops, I don't know what that was about. I'm getting a little full here. Just pop that there, it's a little ugly. And we'll toss some of that stuff in there. Now I am a little low on building blocks. I guess I have a decent amount of the cracked stone, so I'll use that for now. Toss that stuff away. And I'll go ahead and toss away my iron pick, because I don't need that right now. Let's uh, let's poke our heads over in this direction and see what we're working with. Now this pathway hasn't been worked on too much, but uh, I've still got a decent amount of work done on it. Now it's not showing up yet. Maybe I was thinking of a different area. Because I don't see anything. It's, hmm. it's taken a while for stuff to become visible. I was off in another direction, and I saw other places to go. And I can't remember which direction that was now that I think about it. Let's, let's come back over this way. Because there's definitely more blocks to be found. I'm just not sure where I need to go to find them. Let's eat a little more melon. This melon doesn't last me very long. I get hungry pretty quickly. I'm not too thrilled about that. There's another one of those creatures. Um, so this lava over here is worrying me. I feel like it was over in this direction that I could see other things. Except nothing is becoming visible. Um I'm going to I'm going to get back to you guys in a second once things are uh are within view. 
Well, things are a little bit better now. I see some kind of structure over there. It looks like it's made up of diamond blocks. And then over there, it looks like we have some lapis blocks. And either way looks pretty darn far away. Um, I could bridge over from there, but I think I might as well just keep heading out this way, and then I'll be right smack in the middle of both of those. And I'm just going to go backwards like this, keep placing stuff, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing's going to drop down and knock me off. But even so, it wouldn't be a huge deal because I'm not carrying anything too spectacular. Now, while I, when I did work while you were gone, I didn't have any deaths, so I still have only fallen to my death once. And then strangely, I was uh, right back to life, back where I started, so it's almost like a, a Groundhog Day type of scenario here. Or scenario, if you will, depending on how you prefer to pronounce such words. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, right, so I was talking about Tiny Bat, and I was talking about Tiny Bat giving me stuff on Steam. And speaking of Steam, um, if you have been watching my channel, I was giving away a copy of the game Don't Starve. And I recently finished that giveaway. Um, basically, the rules were just, you know, get someone to subscribe and then like and comment and things like that on whatever video it was I was chatting about such things, and then you'll be entered for the drawing, yada yada, so forth. And the per I had a few people enter, and I really appreciate that, so thank you, y'all. And it ended up being Mogali37, aka Angel Ramos TV, um, that was the winner. He had done a few more, or he had gotten a few more people to subscribe, and done a few extra things that got him a couple extra entries. And uh, I think that may be what pushed him over the edge, because he was able to be the name that was drawn. And I promise there was no bias, just because I've done his maps, and we've done stuff together, and he's also on the same server as I am. It was random, whoa, random chance that got him the game. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it, Mogully. And uh, I will definitely be doing that sort of thing again in the future, I just don't know when exactly. So keep your eyes open for such things. Alright, let's get this stuff going. What do I want to use to build? Um, let's just grab a bunch of blocks. If I die while I carry them, I'll just have to do some work again after you guys leave. It won't be a huge deal. But I think this stuff will get me a decent ways out. Um, let's go ahead and grab a few more blocks while we're here, because they're ready. There we go. Now, like I was saying, I was considering whether I could just make a block of diamonds by gathering up the diamonds first. But now that I've seen there is a structure made up of diamond blocks, um, I think I should have to go out and get those instead of just making my own. It just feels a little more legitimate to me. And we'll grab a little bit more bridging material while we're here. Now, the, the interesting thing about this area is you start off with hardly any resources, and you're thinking to yourself, what am I supposed to do with this small amount of stuff? But uh, once you start using it, and you start accumulating more and more different types of blocks that are falling around you, um, things really start to snowball and happen a lot quicker, which is very nice. It's a lot easier to gather your materials, and it happens pretty frequently. So it gets easier and easier as you go along, which I like. And I'm going to be dangerous and hop, skip, and jump my way down here because it is a long way to go. Now I just, I'm wondering, I hope stuff isn't going to start burning down there. I think because there's string covering that layer of wool that it won't happen, but it still worries me a little bit. Let's eat up a little bit. All this, all this running is making me hungry. Now one other thing I would like to... What is that? Oh, it's just part of the mountain. One other thing I would like to bring up while we're doing boring bridging like this, oh, I should have slept, is that I have a few new subscribers to the channel, and I would like to publicly say hello to them. So, um, in no particular order, hello to Duplex Suplex. Um, I'm probably going to murder this last name, but it's um, Alfambro der Bezwinger, something like that. Go out a little bit further here. 
X Gamer Guys X, Riznich, which is also one of the guys that um, entered my Don't Starve giveaway. Rich Bauer, I think, or B A U R Bauer Bohr, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Kind Matt Two, Afternoon Core C O R, uh, Gamatos 007, and then also the Corrosive Dude. And it just so happens that the Corrosive Dude contacted me and um, offered to play a map with me, and I thought that would be very fun. So eventually. We are going to do that, and I feel like I'm a little off-center here. We are definitely going to do that. Um, he was having some issues with his computer. I think it killed itself, or blew up, or jumped off a cliff, or something like that. But I think he has a new computer now, so we might be able to get that stuff going together. And I believe there, there are probably a few different subscribers that I forgot to mention. I kind of lose track of them sometimes, because I get so many subscribers. That is not true. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you to those guys that I mentioned, and definitely thank you to the guys I may have forgotten to mention. There are a few names, I'm sure, that slip through the cracks. But those have been the recent additions in the last month or so, and I really appreciate you guys clicking that subscribe button and deciding to stick around a little bit. I hope to make it worth your while. And uh, if there is anything that I am doing that you really enjoy and that made you subscribe, please let me know what that is. And for those of you who do watch but don't subscribe, please let me know if there's anything I could change to get you to stick around. Because the more and more people I have that hang out with me, the happier I am. And I'm not going to have enough blocks, I don't think. But the more people I've got around, the more people I can chit-chat with, and the more people I can get to know and meet, and uh, I enjoy that. That's probably the main reason I keep doing this YouTube thing. I've met some very cool people so far just through YouTube and also some really cool people through the server that I'm a part of because of YouTube. Oh my goodness, things are exploding. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. And there's some kind of green uh, creature falling as well. Okay, this is a little scary. Let's uh, let's go back. It's dark. I don't have any blocks. I don't have any means of defending myself, really. Um, let's... Oh, speaking of creatures. This is why I've started to light things up. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't have any blocks on me. Oh, I do have one torch on me. Let's do that. Um, okay, this... Hmm. This is an interesting situation. I am going to have to make a jump for it. I don't like how this went one bit. Let's make sure we get a good running start here. And jump for it! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a little too close for comfort. Let's, uh, let's flee. Let's do that. Phew! Okay. So we needed some daylight. We need some light in placeable form. We need some blocks. I may have to uh, ask you to leave for a little while, and I'll just do that stuff by myself, because uh, I don't want you to get bored with it. Um, and then, oops, I'll take some of that. And then I think we'll be ready to press on and collect some of that diamond. And I feel like I'm getting some pretty good progress made here. I'm not sure what else I want to do besides go out and collect the, the special blocks. Because I do have a lot of stuff I need. Um, I mentioned before I could make an enchanting table if I put the put enough work into it, but I don't really see that as being necessary. Um, what else could I do? That's about the only strange thing I could do, I suppose. Let's see, what do I have right now? I've got some bricks. Don't want to use my cobblestone. I've got some of that. Okay, I definitely need to do some collecting. So, yeah, why don't you guys go do something else for a little bit. Um, I will go ahead and start collecting more blocks while you're away. And then if you come back in a little bit, or maybe a few days or so, I will have enough to really make some progress, get out to where all that TNT and those green creatures are, and we can get some, some uh, diamond blocks and put another piece on the monument. Hey, why is my death hut sign gone? I don't appreciate that or approve of it. Oh, 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 gross. Ew. Yuck. Ugh. Ah, ew. No, thank you. 
All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And like I said, if you come back in a few days, um, we'll make some more progress. So I will see you then.